Good evening. We are in the process of making some potato broccoli cheddar soup. Now, this is the first bigger meal that I've opted to make in the motorhome. So I'm gonna carry all of these ingredients out one by one in my pot. And I got my iPad for my recipe. Let's see how this goes. If you guys haven't seen my uh, motorhome tour, I guess. This is my cooking area. We are sauteing the celery, uh, carrots, and onion right now and some butter. I just put the garlic in and now we're gonna wait 30 seconds, then we're gonna add our broth. I wanted to show you guys this because I always think this is hilarious. I bought this from this like really cute gay couple in Palm Springs. They had this like awesome shop and I loved them. They were hilarious. Um, but it was really funny because <laughs> this is like an overpriced weed grinder basically. And I was like, oh, so it's just like, you know, it's like a weed grinder. Like, I mean, this literally sits in this one and then you twist it. And he was like, he was like, I don't know if he was either offended or he was just annoyed that I figured out that like this was basically just like a $4 or $4 or $5 like weed grinder. But FYI, I think you can buy an actual weed grinder on Amazon or in a smoke shop for like five bucks and use it for garlic. Adding the potatoes. I didn't have all russet potatoes, so I just kind of used what I had, hopefully still tastes good. I don't want to waste food, so. Oh, this smells so freaking good. We're almost there. I'm about to eat one of my favorite little Mexican candies right now, these little guys. So I hadn't, per I haven't purchased milk in probably like a decade. Um, maybe with the exception of like like a recipe or something, but like I just bought this for this recipe and it's so weird. Like I took a sip of it and I was like, ugh. Like I used to drink like a gallon of milk a day. Um, super gross. Uh, anyways, um, I accidentally used bread flour instead of regular flour. And those of you out there who cook a lot with flour, I don't typically, uh, might know if it's gonna be fine, but I don't know if it's gonna be fine. Wish me luck. Let's hope this works out and bread flour is okay. It takes way longer to cook this in the motorhome. <clears throat> I'm feeling like it doesn't seem like there's enough cheese in here. It smells really good. I just ate one of the pieces of broccoli and it it is, the broccoli just alone, well, when I pulled it out of here and ate it, it was delicious. So I'm gonna go take the plastic off the couch turn the TV on, find something to watch. I'm not super stoked on eating something that's so not healthy at eight o'clock at night, but that's, I did not expect this to be done this late. So anyways, um, I'll let you guys know how it is. The soup was really good. I ate all of it. I was just like way too famished to like sit here and vlog after <laughs> I had a bite. It was super good. I think I would probably put a couple different types of cheeses in it. It asked for Parmesan, which I didn't put in. Um, I don't think that would fit in this soup, to be honest with you. I also don't really like Parmesan very much. Maybe like some Gruyere or something like that. But it was super good. It just didn't really have much of a cheesy taste to it. So I might actually go with sharp cheddar instead of the medium cheddar the recipe called for. But really, really, really good. Um, another addition to it that would be tasty is corn. But I freaking love corn and I love potatoes. So like those two, you can't go wrong with. I now am gonna do some cardio and I'm going to finish watching this on like in the bedroom from the treadmill. There's one new thing, uh, well, a couple things. So the sink that we had delivered, <laughs> the fucking guy was supposed to get a signature for it so we could say if it was damaged or if whatever. Uh, we bought a farmhouse sink from house.com and it, it we were on our walk around our loop and the guy was literally leaving it at the bottom of the driveway and it's like on a pallet and it's broken. Penises. Yes, we, well, <laughs> I love penises. Mostly yours. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, he <laughs> he was supposed to get this thing signed and somebody definitely, Nick said, uh, went through the box with like a forklift and just smashed it. So our sink is totally smashed. They're gonna pick it up in a couple hey, days. 
totally forked. Got totally forked. <laughs> um, we got a Viking ice maker that's normally like over $4,000 for a really good price from one of Nick's friends who does like auctions and stuff like that. Uh, so it's plugged in right now. We plugged it in last night. Nick did a bunch of stuff to it to make it work, which was awesome. And I'll show it to you right now. It's in the hallway, but it seems to work. And the ice cubes are actually awesome because they're crystal clear. Check it out. This is all goodies for our drywall that's going in next Wednesday. Would you like some goodies? So this is the ice maker. And look at the ice cubes. Water croutons. I know you want to chew on this. Just here you go. <laughs> it comes with the scoop and everything. So pretty. This is going to be really rad for camping. Oh, it comes with a scoop? comes with a scoop. You knew oh, that. Oh, man. That must be what the extra $3,000 is for. <laughs> You're going to stay here, baby. Today is the one morning that I've actually could have slept in past 7 or 7.15, which hasn't been a thing lately. And the um, drywall people, I think, are here right now. So it's kind of crazy. We're about to get walls put up in this bitch, which is insane because it has just been this for so long. And I haven't seen an actual roof on this in a while. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty crazy to watch this get framed out. The only thing that they're not going to frame out right now is over the fireplace. Because um, we're going to cover the fireplace because we're going to do tile all the way up. But they're going to leave that for now because we need to fill this room in with cement before they can put wood down into it to frame out around it. Um, but the dogs are just barking, so I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I'm pretty sure they're here. Oh man, I am having one of those days right now where Nick's at work for like three to four days in a row and all the things that could go wrong just keep going wrong when he's not here and I just have to keep dealing with him all alone and like I just feel like I just I'm just like at a little bit of a breaking point right now so I just needed to vent for a second but I'm just getting like so sick of having to deal with all of this remodel stuff all by myself when Nick's at work for three and four days in a row. Um, I really wish um, San Diego would pay their firefighters more so that they would all stop leaving to other cities that do pay more. And then that in turn causes our firefighters to be forced to work very long shifts and not go home to their families. So there's a lot I could say about that, but just having one of those days, I'm just like frustrated, I'm stressed out, I'm feeling lonely, I feel like I have no help here. Like, oh gosh, it's just, there's so many things to manage. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, just kinda wanted to keep it raw and real with you guys and not just show you like the pretty stuff all the time. Um, I did want to show you guys the fact that there's actually drywall um, on a positive note. Oh my goodness, we have a roof. So all of this kind of white stuff here is what he did yesterday. The echo is so real in here. <laughs> um, it's kind of, it's so crazy how this works. Like that was like a whole, a whole opening like yesterday and now it's just closed. So this was the room that we had to clear and he put all these like metal things on um, these guys. I think he's going to do probably this doorway today. And yeah, so pretty crazy. All right, today, finally, our cabana door, or La Cantina door rather, is actually getting installed. These guys are laying it all out. It's going to be fucking cool. You guys are doing a bit of the drywall stuff today as well. And they walk around on these crazy stilts to get to the ceiling. I'm gonna have to film it for you guys. <laughs> All right guys, we've got the cantina door in. I'll give you a little bit better of a tour of that later, but look how cool this process is. They are getting rid of the orange peel and they're basically like on stilts. It's so cool. So yeah, look at that. It's like way smoother. You can kind of see this is the old right here. And this is already smooth, but let's see if I can show you guys in here. 
what the orange peel looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see a little bit of the texture. And so this is how they get rid of it. So cool. I would fall on my ass on those. <laughs> this got totally filled in and our drywall is still not completely done. We're actually gonna cover the fireplace over here, but we are painting. It's like Nick's only day off and he's working. <laughs> um, he made her- seven, baby, 365. Work, work, work. Pretty hot painter. Um, he filled in our window right now with this window because it's, it's like 20 degrees hotter outside today. It's hot as shit. Custom windows. Custom windows. Uh, this window will be here in what? A few weeks? Uh, definitely by, uh, definitely within 365 days. <laughs> we ordered it. It's supposed to be an eight week wait, and we ordered it like two weeks ago or something, so. Eight to 10. Eight to 10. <laughs> so I'm basically going behind him in all of the corners to get the little corners with the paintbrush. Um, I just wiped every single wall that you see in here, I, and I'm about to do the ceiling later. I wiped all this down with a wet washcloth because there is freaking dust on everything. Of course, I got some really important snacks at Home Depot. This is my favorite. Oh, funny story. So I had one of these sitting on in the garage on our little makeshift kitchen table area. And one of the drywallers stole my fucking bag of hot Cheetos and left hot Cheetos crunched up on my fucking driveway. Like they didn't think I was gonna notice that they ate my fucking hot Cheetos. Bastards. I'm looking real special today. So special. Anyways, we got our cabinets delivered today. Super exciting. Speaking of which, the guy who might install them on Thursday never got back to me. I need to text him. Um, but I'll show you what the boys are doing. We got um, Harris from OFD over here helping us. So that is so nice. They're uh, putting them together right now. Let's go check on the progress. How's it going? Uh, things are happening. boxes. This is a nice breeze. All right, show us your work. <laughs> that's not, that's my work. <laughs> I didn't do anything, you did all that. All I did was stand around and scratch my ass. <laughs> he did not shut up. He moved these where they're gonna actually go. Um, they look really good. I really like the color. They look a little more like blue. I feel like in person, there's like a it's like a blue gray. They look really good. All of these white boxes are the uppers in the pantry, and then the rest of those boxes back there, each of them is a cabinet or cupboard or whatever, um, and their lowers are the ash gray. And we have a light bulb. We should probably show the room. Oh that. yeah, we got some lights in here. They're kind of hanging down like little detached eyeballs, but <laughs> or nuts. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. I guess he knows how to work fucking three-way and four-way switches now. Jojo. -Jo oh, kitty. Oh, so cute. Oh, oh, boop, boop. You love me, shut up. I just got these from Wayfair. There was literally no setup. It was rad. I literally just pulled them out, pulled that little button right there, and they came apart and they fold back up and that's a handle. So I'm liking those. And then eventually I'm ripping out all of these plants over here and putting this fire pit that's about to be delivered here. This will be grass with a sand pit in the middle fireplace. But until then, I'm gonna take the fire pit and we will put it over here. Ooh, there's a nasty spider. No, you're about to walk. Oh, she just walked right through it. Piper, come here. So right here, that's our bedroom door over there. So right here, we're gonna put the fire pit and we'll put the Adirondack chairs around it. So this will be really cute. And I'm getting all of that stuff and the Adirondack chairs and everything. Fire pit's coming any minute. Adirondack chairs will be coming. Um, next Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Check it out. Our sink replacement finally came. 
It's so big. This took so long. This was supposed to be here like 14 days ago and I finally had to call. House was super nice though. They gave me 10% off even though I didn't ask for it. And now we've got a sink. And that's actually the cabinet it's gonna be sitting on too. What you think, Piper? Do you love it? <laughs> She's been useless. You've been useless. Except you look real cute. You do look real cute. Look at that little snoot. Just got off the phone with one of the builders. Um, we're gonna get a few quotes and stuff, but I am literally so shocked right now at the prices I was just given. Um, I'm already about $60,000 into this remodel and there's like, doesn't seem like there's that much more to be done in there. I mean, there is, but I'm literally shocked. Um, it's over $80,000 just to finish the kitchen. It's $15,000 for that tiny bathroom by the front door or by the garage. So I'm like literally like shocked right now. So I'm gonna go eat breakfast because I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> um, we do have another builder coming next week and we are waiting on another quote as well from a different builder. So we'll have three in total. Do you have to do that right here, right now? Huh? Huh? <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm, wow, I just have no words. I, I was expecting uh, the entire thing to cost another maybe 50 grand. And I just got hit with like over $150,000. So I'm gonna go eat breakfast. <laughs> After getting that insane uh, quote, maybe it's not insane, I don't know. I just feel like it's insane. But after receiving that, I think we're gonna take a breather and figure out what we're gonna do. Um, and I also wanna look through their itemized list to see if there's things that we can knock off there just to save a little bit of money that we can do ourselves. Like that bathroom, I think we can do that ourselves for like less than five grand. So uh, I guess we'll see to be continued. And uh, until then, hopefully you guys have an amazing holiday and we will see you soon.